So today I thought I'd do a little video to show you how we can apply classifications um, in Archicad. So out of the box in our international template you'll come up to options and your classification manager. Now what you'll see in this system already is your Archicad classification version 2 if you're using Archicad 24. Now the key thing with this is that these classifications here should line up with your IFC import and export. So my personal template, I don't actually use the Archicad out of the box classification system. I've built one up that matches and mirrors one for one for uh, IFC type products. So therefore I can get that granular import and export uh, from Archicad. So this is the first classification you should have. And that attaches to a number of properties which we're not going to cover today. So when we're selecting our item, and it's ducked off the screen, what we'll see here is the classification that we need to apply for achieving our Archicad classification to ma match up with our IFC. So that's the starting point. Now, in this instance, we're going to use Uniclass 2015 because that's the, the selected classification system for most government projects here in Australia. So we're going to open up the Graphisoft website. Now, you can search for downloads uh, from Google. But let's just take you for a walk straight through the Graphisoft website to actually getting to where we need to go. So we're going to go to the little menu bar. We're going to go to support. And we're going to click on downloads. Now once that opens up, we're going to go down to our extensions for Archicad. So we're scrolling down and we're looking for our BIM content. And this is useful for finding all the other information for downloads that you can add to Archicad as well. But what we're after today is classification packages. So this process is the same whether or not you're going to use Uniclass or not or other classification systems based upon your location. So as you can see here, there's a numerous uh, different classification types that are available for use that Graphisoft maintain. So you can see here, there's an Australian one here with NatSpec and there's all these other ones across the globe. But because at the moment a lot of our uh, government agencies are using Uniclass 2015, it's a good time to incorporate that classification into your process. So what we have now is that's now downloaded into my download section. So you can see here. Now what we need to do is bring that into Archicad. So we can go back into Options Classification Manager and we'll go to the Import. So in our download section here we can see our Uniclass download that we did have. And if you've listened, had the chance to listen to my podcast, you'll see that this classification system is updated every quarter. So this is a recent release. It's just been provided in the last couple of days. So now we're going to open that. And now it says the classification successfully imported. Now we can see classification systems and all that are all in place in here. Now what you'll see is none of them are linked currently to properties. So these are separated from properties at this stage, but you can add them if you need to in the future. But for this purpose, we're going to install a new wall. It's an and it's early stages of our project. So we're going to go to Elements. So it's an EF. And it's a wall. And then we've chosen it. Now you can use the search functionality again, once again, to choose that. And as you get away from generic and start applying greater properties to it, you change the element setting to a system setting, etc. So now that wall's placed. If we were to export that in IFC, we'd be able to identify it as an IFC, its IFC classification type, but then we'd also be able to put it in the basket specifically in and around its classification of Uniclass 2015. So it could be used by asset management systems or it could be used by your uh, quantity surveys and doing cost takeoffs. So I hope you enjoyed that short little snippet and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks a lot.